Good morning and welcome to lori'stampingplace.blogspot.com and I'm here to show you a coloring technique that I thought was so awesome and it's using, let's get down here where we can see and uh, I think that's good. It's using Stampin' Up's Calming Camellia. When I saw some of these on um, Facebook and the internet and YouTube, I was like, wow, I, I'm, I need this one because it is, has a lot of great sentiments, but it's just beautiful. So let me show you a few that I've made. Here's one. I, I used craft paper and then I did some coloring. I, I just love how it turned out. So there's one of them. Here's another one that I had done. Just playing around with colors and experimenting. And, and then this is absolutely my favorite, this one right here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just gorgeous. So I thought I'd show you how I did this. So I took a piece of craft cardstock and then I took some um, early espresso ink and stamped it on here. And now I'm going to take one of the Stampin' Up! the white watercolor pencil and everywhere that it looks like it needs to be highlight highlighted, I'm going to color that in. The other one I'm going to be using, and I don't have any of the Stampin' Up uh, chalk markers, but this is a, a paint-like ink, okay? And so, and it has the little white, there you go. So I'm gonna be using that. I'm also going to be using a Stampin' Up! blender pen, which has a liquid in it, and then you just move the color around with the end. And um, I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper here just to make sure that this is cleaned off, and you just do that. And if there's nothing there, it's, it's pretty clean. And then I'm going to be using the markers. Now, I've had markers for a long time but I never colored with them because I just didn't know how to use them. And so watching this uh, technique by Joe Blackman, uh, I thought I'm gonna use these markers. So I, I pulled out Flirty Flamingo and I have Garden Green for my leaves and then a, a lighter one here, Wild Wasabi. And I'm going to use those. So let's take this um, wow, watercolor, sorry, <laughs> watercolor white uh, pencil. And like I said, everywhere that there is like a highlight, um, I'm going to color it with white. Um, just going to color around, color on the leaf. up here on this leaf. I'm even going to color up here on this leaf. And let's see, maybe over here on this one. Uh, color this in here. And uh, let's see, I think that's about all the place I'm going to color for right now with it. Oh, the other color I wanted to use too was this uh, Hello Honey. It's an, an older one. And I'm going to do the center of the flower with this right in here. Give it that yellow in there. So I almost forgot that one. Okay, and let's see here. I wanna make sure I have all my leaves. Alrighty, and then the next thing, oh, I do see one more leaf. One more that I'm gonna color and it's up here. We'll do that one. Okay, so that's what I have so far. All right, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I think I'll do, 
Let's do the leaves first. So I'm going to take this uh, um, garden green and I'm going to pull my stems here and just put those in. And it shouldn't take too long to do this. So just coloring, adding the stems. Uh, also, I'm going to color the leaves. So I'm going to come down here, color that leaf, color along there. And oh, I see some more shade, uh, some white. A lighter spot in here. I'm going to use that on there and I'm going to come around kind of outline it a little bit. And uh, oh, I found another one. Sometimes it's hard to catch these until you start doing that. There's a few more white. There's a few more white spots there. So where the light is reflecting and then I'll do the, the get this one. I want to go really finely out there and that come and catch this one here. And let's see, I'll get this one up here. I'm going to turn it this way and get this one over here. And there are some veins in these leaves and I'll, after I get going here, I'll show you what I did to pull those veins out. And you can't really see them with the markers. The markers are really dark. Alrighty, let's see. Just come up here a little bit. Okay. And then I think I will take the wild wasabi and get make sure I have the end to do this. And I'm going to go over where the white was. just go over and as I'm doing this I'm going to kind of stop a little bit and take my blender pen just so I can join those colors join them together so I'm just going over the whole thing with my blender pen I'll do this one here Okay, and then I'm going to do it, do this one here, and then I'll use my blender pen and blend these colors together, and do it on this one here, and this one up here. And then blend these together and it just pushes the ink around and makes it, I don't know, it transforms it. <laughs> and then I have one more over here that I'll do and use the blender pen. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe my blender pen off. So this is how you do it. You just keep going back and forth till you don't have any color on here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I have that, that done. You can see those already. Okay, so then I'm gonna come back with my, my uh, marker, but I'm gonna use the writing end, and I'm gonna kinda do my, my stems here, um, my stems, my veins on these flowers flowers. See, I'm just crazy this morning. Um, on my leaves. Okay. 
I'm trying to, I thought I'd just make a quick video because I need to uh, start school with my grandkids. So anyways, um, the leaves look, I, I like them already. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is take the Flirty Flamingo and I'm going to put the color down in here, just like this, kind of where the veins are and stuff, on here, over here, everywhere where there's a like a dark, a dark um, spot. Okay, like that, and here. And on this one, and right here. And then what I'm going to do is take my blender pen again, kind of smooth it out. Let's smooth this one out. And I, I want a little more down here in the base of this one. Okay. Then I want to get the ink off my blender pen. Then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to take this, um, this painter paint like ink. Or you could use the Stampin' Up! chalk. I don't have one of those, so I'm using this. And I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna use brush strokes. So you can see, I'll put, I'll put darker ones here and then I'm putting some brush strokes, okay? And so I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna kind of pull them, kind of fill this in here. Fill this in and pull these out. Fill this in. Okay, turn it back this way. And just pull these down. More white up here. Pull it down. Do the same thing up here. Pull it down. Some white up here. Pull it down. And white up here. White in here, pull this all down, up in here, and pull it down. And then get more over here, and I don't really have to let this, this one dry um, in between here. I'm just... I don't know. It, I, I love it. And there's my flowers and my card and all. That's all I did. And I really like how it looks. So I hope you give this a try. And um, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.